Have you ever wondered what it's like to be an astronaut? Have you ever wished that maybe you could experience that for yourself? Well, guess what? For the first time ever, a brand new competition, Space Academy, is here. Last but not least, Edmund, you just 
the true experience, um, Huntsville, I don't think I can actually explain today so far, Huntsville um, is called the Rocky City. Um, it's kind of unanimously uh, taken as the birthplace of the rocket program and the space program for America. Um, so obviously if you can get there to study space, um, it's phenomenal. It's kind of one of the, the best places they want to go. Um, once you get to the Advanced Space Academy in a, an older um, capacity, uh, obviously because I'm still quite young, I don't remember the middle of London, um, but if you go over as an adult, then you get the chance as well, I believe, to go to Florida for a day, um, three days. Three uh, days. You go to the Kennedy Space Centre, which I've been lucky enough to uh, be at as well, but not through Space Academy. Uh, so obviously, um, if you can get to America, um, although the cost is quite high, then it's good to get. Yeah.
with his group Dare when they signed a record deal and toured with Top Acts in 1986, breaking up in 1992. Brian then had a success in the band Dream, and their most famous record, Things Can Only Get Better, was famously used by Tony Blair as the Labour Party election song in 1997. During his time with Dream, Brian obtained a first class honours degree in physics from the University of Manchester and a PhD in high energy particle physics at the Desi Laboratory in Hamburg. Proving that creativeness and space do go hand in hand for whatever creative genre it comes from. We had invited him along to come today. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it because he was out of the country, but he did send this message. I just wanted to wish everyone all the best for your awards ceremony on the 16th of October. Unfortunately, I can't make it since I am abroad working at the moment. I was really interested to read about the wonderful art competition that has been held. Please congratulate all the entrants for their imaginative work. I have sent you a signed copy of his DVD of the DVD Wonders of the Solar System for Zoe. Her artwork is brilliant and captures all the excitement of space which is present in many people's dreams. Please pass it to her with my congratulations. So that's the message you sent, so I'm very pleased to get that for Zoe and for David. You've already heard from Ryan, David and Kerry, and of course our talented and lucky winners Zoe about their experiences at the Space Academy in Huntsville and how much they gained from their time there. So can we harness this and broaden it to make it more accessible to our young people in Scotland? The project with David Gregor has instigated across Scotland started with a focus on art. And what might art have to do with getting involved in space, I can hear some of you say. Well, many of the first ideas for space rockets, space suits, and many, many other items that have been developed for use in space exploration started their lives on a sheet of paper as a drawing or a sketch. Art can let the imagination flow easily. And this can be the first step towards a whole new invention or development in this inspiring area of study. David and the others of us who have been involved in some small way eh, see this as just a beginning. We believe that with the right backing and the right preparation, we will be able to inspire many more children in Scotland to set their goals high. This is a golden opportunity to show young people that being creative like an artist is as important as being inventive and problem solving like mathematicians and scientists, which is what NASA is currently trying to promote. They are seeking creative young people to be inventive. David hopes to develop a lifelong career in space education. He is at present in discussion with the launch of this huge competition. We actually want to look at our best future drawings. We are really the number of great the last year. Thank you very much, sir. Um, now, they were fantastic. We actually went to the Flight Museum over in his fortune. other parts too. You can be part of two missions. Spacewalk and launching rockets. Beyond the space axis. Man maneuvering the <laughs> Will I be able to sit on a space shuttle? Of course you can. You can fiddle with all the equipment too. Columbia 84. Challenger 83. Discovery 84. Atlantis 85. Endeavour 98. Space shuttles. So now it's time to get on board and imagine that you're an astronaut. And that you're in a spacecraft travelling through space. So everyone, after what you've just seen, doesn't that inspire you to get drawing, and painting, and producing an artwork, all kinds of media? Let's get going and let's do something just like this.